we're back with another LockNet video newsletter. I'm your host, Whitney. Eric here. And today we thought we would do something a little bit different with our newsletter. Um, you guys are used to us talking about doors and hardware and how to's and what ifs. And Occasionally all, a movie. All of that. So we try to make it interesting. Thought we'd change it up a little bit today. <laughs> so today I noticed, not today in particular, but I've noticed that often people ask me what it's like to work at LockNet. What do I do? What does LockNet do? Yeah. So I thought I would give, we'd give you guys like a little insight. Um, at LockNet, I would say the number one thing that we focus on is what we call our guiding principles. Yeah. And they are infused into everything that we do. Yeah, every single process, everything we do here at LockNet is Internally, fine. externally, when we're dealing with customers, we mm -hmm. focus on those six guiding principles. And they are so important to us that Eric and I actually made a separate video that I'm going to link to so you can delve into what we mean by these guiding principles. There's six and we're going to spend a whole extra show talking about yeah. them. So make sure you click that. Um, other than that, my favorite thing about working here, and I would, it doesn't matter just to me because I'm in marketing, but they give people here so much creative license yeah. to do. If it's a good idea and you talk about it with your manager and you know it's something that you yeah. want to try and it's innovative and new, they are so open to new ideas. Now in marketing, super important because the basis of everything I do is creativity. Mm -hmm. um, I understand that doors and locks are not... It's a rather dry subject. It can be, a little bit. So with me, a lot of what I try to do is come up with different ways that I can let you guys relate to doors and locks in your everyday life. So whether it be like a video newsletter about the X-Files yeah. or you know TV shows, things like that. In my blog post, I try to you know find different things to talk about that aren't necessarily very dry step-by-step yeah. -step instructions on mm -hmm. things. So I love that I can talk to my managers CEO, anything and say, I have an idea for this. What do you think? Now, if it's insane, they'll right, be yeah, like, but, mm, no. And you know, I've seen it uh, in processes and people in multiple departments in this company mm -hmm. where they'll make a suggestion and it's a good idea and we'll actually change systems or processes yes. to actually try it out. Yes, absolutely. So that by far, hands down, that's easily the most. Yeah creative place I've been it able is a very to express creative myself. Environment. Yes. Yes. So that would be mine. My favorite thing has always been um, our CEO, Chad Miller's sort of open door policy. Oh, yeah. um, basically, if Chad isn't in a meeting or on a conference call, his door is wide open and anyone in the company uh, from the lowest ranks to the highest can walk in and talk to him about pretty much anything. Obviously, you know, it's more tailored toward work generally, yeah. but if there's something that you're having an issue with personally or professionally and you want and you feel like you need to talk to Chad about it, he will listen. He is very open to having conversations with everyone inside our company. Yeah. He wants to be he wants to be available. Yeah. To everyone and the biggest difference for me you know I've, ha I've worked at other companies with open door policies before but the biggest difference for me is that when I talk to Chad I feel like he's legitimately yeah. listening and he cares and he wants doesn't, to help. He doesn't treat you like one of the little people right. like, out the company yeah. so it's very... Have you talked to your manager? <laughs> yeah. Make him solve this problem. He's really not like that at all. <laughs> no, and I think he's... That that He's very receptive. That ties in, I think, a lot with the family atmosphere that we yes. have. And LockNet is very proud of its family roots. And I've written about that on the blog several mm -hmm. times. It's all over our website. Um, so you would definitely, if you're interested in hearing or reading about how long they've been in the business and how important it is to them, I would suggest that you check that out. Yeah. So that about does it for me, though. Well, uh, you know, there's one more thing. The family centered environment, if you want to know a little more about it, we're actually hiring right we now. We are hiring. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> we're hiring right now. So we have several positions available that we would love for you guys to check out if you want yeah. to come work with Eric and myself. Great. Um, it's great here. <laughs> we're great people. <laughs> um, you can definitely check that out. I will link to it down below. I will also connect you to all of our social media stuff. We've got stuff on Facebook, Instagram. Twitter, LinkedIn, the whole board. We've got it. We run the whole gamut. The whole gamut. It's all there. So I will link to those down below as well. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to hear from you guys. If you have anything else you want to tell me, you can email me directly at WhitneyD at LockNet.com. If you have any questions about how great it is to work here or any open jobs you see, <laughs> 
Email me at ericky at locknet.com. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching, and we hope you tune in next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye guys.